Okay, Year 7, here's how to make your choice chamber for your Harry the Woodlice experiment. I've just got a normal Tupperware um, container. Uh, you don't need the lid, so that can go. Um, it doesn't have to be a Tupperware, though. Um, any sort of dish or anything will do, as long as you don't mind putting wood lice in it. So, this choice chamber is going to have four different choices for the wood lice to go into. It's going to have a dark and wet a dark and dry, a light and wet, and a light and dry. So I'll show you how you can do it. So first things first, let's make our dark panel. So this end of the Tupperware is going to be dark, okay? So we're going to put that in like that, and then when the lid's on, like so, that will be quite dark in there. Okay, be relatively dark compared to the other end of the choice chamber. Okay, now what I've got to use to make um, the wet and the dry, I've just got some cotton, um, cotton wool, um, their makeup remover things, and a bowl of water. You don't need a lot of water because they they won't like it if it's if it's really really wet. They kind of want it more um, kind of moist and. Uh, that's what they like because they like living in rotten old trees and rotten old wood so just dip that in like that fold it and squeeze it and I'm just gonna do a couple there like that and put one more in so dip half the thing in and pop it in there like that so those are those are quite wet there and then it's dry there and just to make it a fair test what we'll do is this one's a dry one so I'll put it in so that the texture's the same so we're not changing the texture okay then we do exactly the same on the light side okay so that can be the the light and wet over there and that can be the light and dry over there. So what I'll do is um, put that on there like that. So then that side is the dark and wet, dark and dry, light and wet, light and dry. Okay, then you put your um, wood lice in there. Watch them for 10, 15 minutes. Go away, leave them alone if you like and then come back and see where they all are. Now you can make a prediction of where you think they're going to be based on where you know they like to live. So your prediction could be, oh, I think they're going to go here because they like to live in these kind of areas. Okay, so make your prediction, watch them, take photos if you like, and then write your conclusion of where they've all gone. Okay, any problems, any questions, email your science teacher.